Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering, Bailey, why are you sitting on your floor on the side of your bed? And I'm going to tell you. So today I decided to make the rash decision to buy a book cart and if you don't know what it is I will put up some pictures on the screen to show you. So I have officially run out of room on my bookshelf and my bottom shelf is an absolute disaster. So in order for me to make more space for more books, I decided to pick up a shelf today. So I have it right here. It's my bag. I got it from my local Michaels. This is what it looks like. It is the Lexington three tier rolling cart and I got it in white. And yeah, we're gonna put this bad boy together. So let's get to it, I guess. Also, um, I went to the Dollar Tree today as well and got a little holder for um, my bookmarks. So, um, it's actually just a stemless wine glass and it was like a dollar. So, I'm going to put this on the cart as well just to kind of sit my bookmarks and stuff in it. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. Now, let me go get some scissors and I don't know if I'm going to need any tools, but hopefully not because if I do, then I might have to eat my dad to put it together a little bit later. And then you'll never see this clip because there won't be a video. So let me go get some scissors. Also, please excuse my closet being open in the background. I didn't think about that before I started filming. Also, I would really hate to have to take this back. So it's very obvious that they do not want me to open this. So I'm gonna try my best. this, two of these, and instructions. Normally I would say who needs those, but I do today. Okay, this looks like it's going to be kind of hard. So it looks like I might actually have to get my dad to put this together. Um, but we'll see. Also, they have like mesh bottoms and that's kind of cute. Um, so the instructions are kind of vague. So... So far, not bad, just a lot of twisting. Okay, honestly, there's not a lot of space right here for me to be trying to put this together, but it's fine. Actually, I think we did it wrong already. One time I put a desk together and it went pretty smoothly but as of right now I'm kind of just like did you really are you sure it wasn't just a fever dream because this is not going very well this video isn't just going to be me putting this together like you'll actually see me like organize it and stuff too also i'm making a spotify plaque thing for my dad and my stepmom's anniversary for them so i might include me making that in this video as well because i will be doing that today too 
they gave me an extra screw so for the people who always need some screw I think I found it show you guys here in just a little bit me setting it up but I do have some other things I need to go do really quickly first before I can do that so I will see you guys in a little bit okay so I didn't film me making this but this is what it turned out to look like it's really cute just like the Spotify and if you scan it it'll take you to the song and then it just has their picture on it so cute but yeah that's what it ended up looking like hey guys so today is Wednesday and I haven't updated you guys since Sunday when I was literally putting together my car and I haven't put any books on it yet so I promise I will show you guys me organizing it but for the time being it is still empty um, I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow just because I don't have to go to work so I'll probably film that process and um, kind of fix it up tomorrow. I'm thinking that I want to put the 21 books that I wanted to read in 2021 on here but I don't really know how that's going to make my shelf look. I feel like that's going to put a lot of gaps in my shelf but I also do kind of just want to use like the books that I don't really have space for that are like on this bottom shelf and put them on here um, but we'll see just kind of how inspiration strikes I guess um, but I did want to talk to you guys about what I'm going to be reading this week. So I actually did finish a book today. Um, I finished, let me look it up because y'all know I can't be remembering. And it's a shame too that I can't remember because I literally absolutely loved it. It was so good. Okay, so I did finish Kiss My Cupcake. I actually finished it on my lunch break today at work. Um, Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting and I literally loved it. It was so good. I gave it five stars. It was literally so cute. It was amazing. I loved it and I want to say it's probably one of my favorites when it comes to like romance like it was, just, it was everything but of course I'm wanting a lot more Helena hunting because I did love that book so after I finished it today I did end up picking up Pucked by her which is an an adult sports romance involving like hockey player um so I did start that today I am still in chapter one but I'll probably end up picking that up tonight and then on the way home from work I did start A Sweet Mess by JC Lee and I'm listening to that on audiobook and I will probably finish that in the next few days as well because I do generally like to listen to audiobooks like in the car on the way to and from work instead of listening to the radio I mean I do listen to the radio sometimes usually just if I don't have a book to listen to but like nine times out of ten I do really like listening to books I just filmed a video that will probably be up by the time this video is out and if it is then I'll put um, a link in the iCard honestly I think that's all for right now like I said I'll probably end up doing my cart tomorrow and if I end up finishing anything I'll let you guys know I don't really know how long this vlog is gonna be through I can't remember the last time I vlogged that wasn't like a book vlog that was like a weekly vlog um so I do kind of want to start bringing those back a little bit yeah so like I said I think I'm going to go I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna listen to a sweet mess a little bit more um I think I'm about to go get a snack actually and then I'll probably end up getting in the bed and probably reading Pucked before I go to bed and I'm off tomorrow so I'll do my cart and I'll probably try and get some homework done but I'll let you guys know for sure and yeah I'll update you guys again a little bit later 
Hey guys, so today is Thursday and um, I ended up not updating you guys yesterday because I kind of just took the day to like kind of reset and um, I basically just took a mental health day basically where I pretty much laid in bed all day and didn't really do anything um, which every once in a while that's good and I think that everyone should do that and I personally just needed that time for myself but with me doing that I did actually end up reading a book yesterday um, and I actually finished it this morning before I started getting ready for work and that was Pucked by Helena Hunting and I ended up giving this book two and a half stars so um it wasn't a bad book like I mean I liked it pretty much for the most part but I really just did not like Violet like I thought that she was so weird and like she was just weird and it was like cringy to read like I really liked Alex and um I liked his character a lot but Violet she was just like she was so weird and I just like could not connect with her and just some of the things that she would say were just like not it like it would just kind of put me off and so that's the reason I kind of knew from the beginning that I didn't think I would give it more than three stars um, but I did want to finish it just to kind of see how the story played out do I think it probably could have been a novella and not a full-length novel absolutely but um I still wanted to give it a chance however I am kind of invested in some of the other characters in the series and I do want to know what happens to them however I don't know if I will be continuing on with the series I just don't really know if that series is for me and I hate that too because I just finished um Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting on uh, Monday or Tuesday and I really loved it and so for it to be like kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum was like definitely kind of different I think um but it was good for me to read some of her other work and just kind of see um like I said I didn't really love Pucked but that's not to say that I won't read another one of the series maybe later. I really want to know what happens with Charlene and Darren and I'm kind of interested to know what happens with Buck and Sunny too but um basically with Violet I think my time with Violet is over. I just, like I said, did not love her. But yeah, so I am going to continue listening to my audiobook, which is A Sweet Mess by JC Lee. I will be probably listening to that on the way to work and then on my way home. I do have to work today. And so I've just been getting ready and I've been watching Criminal Minds. And yeah, I'm in season 11. And I'm literally so close to being done and I hate that because I absolutely love Criminal Minds and I'm gonna have to find something else to watch. I feel like they might have taken the Vampire Diaries off of Netflix. I'm not 100% sure though because I haven't looked for it in a while but hopefully that's not the case. But yeah so that's kind of where we're at right now. Hopefully I can get a bunch of homework done maybe tomorrow and maybe I can get some reading done this weekend. I kind of want to pick up maybe an ember in the ashes but I also feel like I'm not really into that right now. I really have had the urge to pick up Crescent City for some reason like I just kind of want to read that but that's like a hefty that's a hefty boy right there and I just don't know about it because I know that if I decide to pick that up then I'm gonna want to drop everything and yeah I just don't know if I can do that right now so um for the time being I think I'm just gonna stick to a sweet mess and maybe possibly an ember in the ashes this weekend we'll see if I end up picking that up though but I know for sure that I will end up picking up a sweet mess um it's currently 9.03 and I do need to leave here soon. I do still need to eat breakfast and I wanted to update my reading journal really quickly and I will show you guys updating my reading journal because I know it's pretty popular and you guys like to see that. So um, I will show you that really quickly and then I'm gonna finish getting ready for work and yeah I'll probably update you guys again later. I didn't end up doing my cart yesterday. I promise I will end up doing it. Um, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But it will get done. I promise. But yeah, so I will update you guys again a little bit later.
guys so today is Sunday and it's currently 522 and I'm getting ready to actually do my book cart finally it's literally been a week since I like waited on doing this but I'm finally gonna do it now and I'm gonna film the process I have actually already pulled out a few things that I think I'm gonna put on the cart and yeah so then I will just do that I might end up actually doing a little bit of reorganizing of my bookshelf as well probably not a whole lot also I did want to mention that I did hit 100 subscribers so um, I will be doing a giveaway on my channel which by the time this video goes up I believe that I will have already uploaded a giveaway video and um so yeah by the time this video is uploaded I think the giveaway will be ending on Sunday um, of this week it's going to end let's see the giveaway will end on April 4th so if you haven't entered um, go watch that video um, it should be up on my channel I think I'm gonna post it on Tuesday probably or sometime next week oh anyways anyways yeah, if you want to enter into the giveaway, it should already, the video should already be up and it will close on April 4th. So, yeah, I'll be announcing the winner in my video on April 14th. So, that's really it for right now. I just wanted to say thank you guys. I'm literally just, uh, I'm so beyond grateful that a hundred of you have decided to subscribe to my channel and watch my content and that just means the absolute world to me. And yeah, so with that being said, let me get started on the organization of my book cart. Okay, so like I said, I did already kind of move some books onto the cart for that I wanted to put on there, which obviously I don't think I'll fill the cart up um, right away. But this is what we're kind of sort of working with. And I think I'll end up moving. So like I have my Cruel Prince and The Wicked King right here. And I think I'll probably end up moving it onto the cart as well. But this is sort of what my bookshelf setup looks like. You've seen this shelf and this shelf probably a million times. But so yeah, this is what we're working with. This bottom shelf is a literal disaster. Um but it looks better than it did when these books were down there too so i'm gonna get started on figuring out what i want to do with this and i will talk to you guys again when i'm done is what we're working with it's not my favorite thing it doesn't look super amazing but I also don't have enough books to like fill it out plus I took the two books out right there and put them on here who knows maybe I will eventually like redo the shelf and put some of the books that are on here down here as well but for right now this is kind of just what we're working with like I said it's not my favorite thing but I think that once I get a few more books to add to it then I think it'll end up looking a little bit better okay guys so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here so um this week I know the vlogging has probably been kind of like a mess and I actually did from Sunday to Sunday instead of Monday to Sunday which um I think now I'm just gonna be kind of vlogging just kind of 
whatever but I did want to just kind of give an overall recap of my reading week so I finished Kiss My Cupcake by Helen Hunting and I gave this five stars I absolutely loved it I thought that it was so good um, it was just a wholesome story and I just literally loved everything about it and then I finished Pucked also by Helena Hunting and I did not love this I ended up giving it 2.5 stars I just didn't really like Violet like I really just did not like Violet like I could not connect with her I she was very very weird and strange and just did not like her and then a book that I did end up finishing as well was A Sweet Mess by J.C. Lee. I feel like I remember talking to you guys about this a little bit, but it was okay. I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. I ended up not really liking Landon. I felt that he was very selfish and he was very about himself. And so I just uh, just kind of really knocked it down for me. So I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. It was still a pretty decent book and the writing was good and it was easy to follow and stuff. But I just, I didn't like Landon. And so that's what really just kind of knocked it down for me. And then this week I also have picked up An Ember in the Ashes a little bit as well and have been reading this. And I think I'm actually getting ready to pick this up right now because I finished all of my homework. And since I don't have anything to do until probably tomorrow when a new week starts, then I think I'm just going to read this for the rest of the night. I'll probably go get some dinner soon. And I also do want to do some editing probably sometime tonight as well. But... My main focus is going to be on getting this read. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys again for watching this video. I am beyond grateful for every single person who watches these videos. And thank you for helping me hit 100 subscribers. And yeah, so please consider subscribing to my channel. You do not have to. It would be awesome if you did, though. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I will have all of my social medias linked down in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.